I just wanna have fun, clap my hands, turn around now and dance, dance, dance. I just wanna have fun, clap my hands, turn around now and dance, dance, dance. I, I, I just wanna have fun, clap my hands, turn around now and dance, dance, dance. I just wanna have fun, clap my hands, turn around now and dance, dance, dance. I just wanna, I just wanna clap, clap, turn around, turn around, dance, dance, dance. I just wanna, I just wanna clap, clap, turn around, turn around, dance, dance, dance. I, I just wanna, I just wanna clap, clap, turn around. If you are a believer in the saying that good things come in small packages, then you're probably going to like the Bagode M10 IV. And no, not that kind of small package. Get your mind out of the gutter. This is the kind of small package that you'd be happy to show to your mom. See, this 25 pound tiny little EUC is capable of carrying one 40 kilometers an hour up to 40 kilometers of range. But it's not all petite perfection, so let's get into it. Now this video is not sponsored in any way, but I'd still like to mention the kind folks at EVs. They're a group of passionate people in the PEV space who just happen to have a store. So if you're in the market for a PEV or PEV accessories, please click the link in the description below. I receive a small kickback which helps to support the channel, and you receive excellent customer service and the potential for a discount or free swag. So I call that a win-win. Yes, it's true. I finally bought a Bagode after years of teasing them. I was secretly hoping there's going to be more competition in the miniature EUC space, but alas, we are left with Bagode for the time being. I must say though, the design is freaking awesome and I've been having a super positive experience with it so far. But uh, yeah, let's talk about the design first. I'm sure many of us have dreamed of flying around the galaxy with a little droid buddy. So being able to fly around the town with one, I think, is a welcomed compromise. And just look at it. It's oozing character. He's got a cute little stand, so he stares at the ceiling when you're not riding him. For those of you who've made it this far, having no idea what this is, then I guess I should clarify. This is the M10 IV, which is in the smallest category of electric unicycles and the successor to the M10 III. Where most small wheels have a 14 or 16 inch wheel, this one has an 11. The crazy thing is though, is it's packing the performance of a 16 inch wheel somewhere inside of this thing. In fact, it has a 750 watt hour battery, putting it right in between the InMotion V8F and V10F. Same with range, I got 40 kilometers on my range test, which puts it uh, 10 kilometers ahead of the InMotion V8F. And it's also got the speed, if you dare. <laughs> we'll get into that in a bit, but it does go 40 kilometers an hour, but riding there with any amount of comfort or calmness is slim to none. This wheel is an 84 volt system and comes in a few different battery flavor options. I currently can only find the 300 watt hour 40T and 750 watt hour 50E variants up here in Canada. Although I do know you can buy the 600 watt hour 40T variant in the US. Later that night. Basically the 40T cells give you more punch at the cost of range over the 50E cells. Now this wheel is the 50E variant and I find the power more than adequate for keeping me upright during the kind of leisurely riding that I'm doing. During the last half of the battery, I was able to overpower it in certain situations. This was by no means normal riding conditions. It also has no dynamic tilt back. There are only beeps. Yes, they're loud beeps, but depending on how loud you listen to Post Malone, it could be drowned out. So if you're riding this machine below 50% battery, be very mindful of the beeps. Let's talk about portability, because that's what this thing is best at. You can put it just about anywhere. You can put it in a box, a backpack, a bathtub, a barbecue. You can put it just about anywhere. In fact, I've been carrying it on my back while riding my veteran Sherman, just so I can have a play once I reach my destination. So yeah, it's kind of amazing in that regard. Another thing it's great at is practice. Before owning the M10 IV, my backwards figure eights were kind of rubbish. 
After about an hour practicing on this machine, I was able to transfer over my newfound balance to the bigger wheels, which was super helpful. This wheel is extremely stable at low speeds. In fact, I can basically just stand on it without moving. This is due to the fact that it has a 3.5 inch wide tire, which is wider than usual, and the fact that it has low and wide pedals. So if you too want to improve your low speed riding, this is a great tool as you can practice at low speeds without the risk of breaking your big expensive EUC or your dang body. And since we're on low speed riding, we might as well talk about high speed riding. Frankly, it's terrifying, but in a fun way. Death wobbles can occur in almost no time without warning. And unless you're highly experienced with overcoming wobbles, you will likely be parting ways with the little M104. Acceleration, braking performance on this wheel is actually quite good. Because the wheel is small, it's able to speed up and slow down in a timely manner. I would not recommend doing any superhero leans though, because the battery is relatively small and it's only an 84 volt system. For everyday cruising, I have found this wheel to be comfortable between 20 and 30 kilometers an hour, which kind of makes it the one wheel of EUCs because it's not about miles per hour, it's about smiles per hour. And I think that's great. Ergonomics of this wheel are, let's say, strange, but comfortable. Mounting and unmounting requires a different approach compared to bigger EUCs. You see, on a bigger EUC, you can use the side of the wheel as leverage. Well, that's not the case here because, well, there's hardly any side. The best method I've found is the hop on, hop off approach. Once on though, it's actually surprisingly comfortable, but like many small wheels, my feet do get sore faster, but that's sort of par for the course. Carving on such a small wheel does take a little bit of getting used to. The pedals are flat, honeycomb, and have some nubbins for extra grip. I'm yet to slip off these pedals, so I guess they're doing their job. Another great thing that's actually not found on many small EUCs is a screen. It's got a tiny little speedometer, odometer, battery meter. The speedometer is one of the most accurate I've tested to date. It works. The battery meter, however, leaves much to be desired. In fact, the whole battery calibration seems quite off, as it was still showing 20% remaining when it was completely unrideable. There's also only five bars indicated, so yeah, I wouldn't really rely on it. I recommend using the Darkness Bot app. You can set a range to around 40 kilometers, or do a range test yourself an inch of that. It will provide you with fairly accurate remaining distance, which is a much better metric to me. One major flaw with the screen is that it's almost completely unreadable in direct sunlight. And I like to ride when the weather's nice, so I can really only see it in the shade. It's a real shame. I think it has something to do with this top clear plastic being a bit smoked. Perhaps if it was clear, we'd be able to read the damn thing. But hey, it's better than nothing. There is now a Begoed app, which is handy, and you can use it to adjust things like top speed warnings, LED tail light functions, I believe there's also over-the-air update capabilities now, but don't quote me on that. There is a headlight, it's not the best, but it will work in a pinch if caught riding at night. It's also tiltable, so adjusting it will be super important if the M104 will be your only light source. The tail light is actually super cool. It's a color LED matrix and gives the M104 even more personality. Um, what else can we talk about? How about the lack of trolley handle? Well, technically you can buy a trolley handle for this machine. I honestly haven't missed having one as I just carry it with me, put it in a cart or basket when doing errands. It does come with a guitar case style handle, which is actually quite comfortable to hold for a few minutes at a time. So for the most part, I don't think I'll be missing a trolley handle. Many have experienced the train tracking effect, which is the tendency for the tire to follow imperfections in the road. I have not found this, but it could be a potential issue for you if your roads suck. The tire on this is a knobby one and makes noises so people can hear you. And I like that, but you can swap it for an on-road tire if you want. I, however, will be doing no such thing because I find this tire to be rather splendid. It's got a fairly round profile, so you can carve easily with it. 
and it's also fairly good off-road. I have some mountain bike trails slash walking trails nearby, and I have been taking the little M104 on many of them. It's hilarious and a ton of fun. I highly recommend using the M104 as a light trail machine. Now I think it's time to talk about some downsides. Now I'm yet to tear apart this wheel. I think I want to save that for a winter video, but rumor has it that this does not have very good waterproofing, which is typical for most pagodes. Um, but luckily, most of the important bits are housed up top. So as long as you're okay with a little bit of DIY, you should be able to silicone this and get some better waterproofing. Another downside is that uh, you always have to be paying attention because this thing will bite you in a second. So there's really no relaxing on this wheel. I think overall, this wheel would make an amazing addition to an experienced rider who may already have a high performance EUC or two and wants to try something different. The portability makes it effortless to pack around. It's super easy to practice new tricks with and the fun factor, I think, scores super high, at least in my books. And if you wanna buy an EUC like this, make sure you buy it at Eevee's using my link in the description below. Thanks again for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll catch you guys in another one. Peace.